my friends, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome back to Phoenix Rising, where I play as my hometown team, Merthertown Football Club. Before we begin, I want to draw your attention to something that I'm reading currently, and that is this book by here. It's the Johann Cruyff Autobiography. I bought it a couple of days ago from um, the works in Ebervale, and it's a really good book. I started reading it. Johann Cruyff was one of my favourite players um, from history. I've watched a lot of... Um, videos, videos, no, not DVDs, videos, VHS um, tapes from when I was a kid. I used to buy them because obviously I'm from a generation that had VHS. Um, DVDs obviously started in the early 2000s, like 2002, 2003, but I used to buy VHS and stuff. And um, yeah, he was one of my favorite players from history. I, I love reading about total football and how that was implemented. And if I can be half the manager he was in this game, then I'm pretty sure we'll do some good stuff with Merthyr Town. But that being said, we have Hereford today. Ooh, Hereford. Um, they, they're, they're not a bad football team, let's be honest. They're actually top. They're probably going to win the league and they're probably going to get promoted. As you can see, they've won 28 games. They've only lost twice all season. One of them was to Kettering, the other one to Bishop Stortford. Look at Royston. I said earlier in the season, who are Royston? Because they were down there. They've gone all the way up to second in the table. They've won 27 games. They're having a fantastic season. I'm frustrated though, because look at this. We've We've lost six games, which is less than everybody bar Hereford. And yet we're seventh in the table on 73, which is respectable. The board are quite happy with me, but we could be doing better, obviously. Um, I just am frustrated. Financially, things could be a lot better. We are in a little bit of debt. We're on 183 grand debt. I've made some requests to the board for senior affiliates. I've done it three times this season. On all, all three occasions, they've said, yes, we'll get you an affiliate. And then they've come back to me a few weeks later and said, we can't find anybody suitable. So I've been unable to actually do much with the um, the finances. But we got Hereford away. I'm thinking I might revert to my 442, my trusty 442 for this. Let us have a little think. 442. And if I do a quick pick just to see how we can do. Trailer can play right side anyway. We've got Keenan Evans. I think this will be better defensively for me. That's why I'm going to go with it. Um, we'll try it. And obviously, if I need to change it, go more offensive than I will. The team pretty much picks itself anyway. That's why I do the quick pick. I don't always do quick pick, but on this occasion, uh, I do. Right, dressing room. Team talk time. Passionate. We've got a good run. Let's keep it going. Yes, yeah, keep this run going. I'm going to tell my midfielders as well that I have faith in them. Because that usually goes over quite well. And we'll go straight to the kickoff. Here we are then. We're at uh, Edgar Street. I think that's the, the stadium for Hereford, isn't it? Edgar Street. Although this looks nothing like uh, Edgar Street. <laughs> the the non-league um, stadiums in this game do look a bit iffy, to be fair. I would absolutely love it if we could get a decent result here against these. If we could get a decent result, a draw would be good. A win would be... Mwah. It'd be the icing on the cake because we're not going to get promoted this season. We're going to have to wait until next season to see if we can actually do something. Kieran Evans with a free kick here plays it in. And Rigby, the Hereford goalkeeper, looks like he's the captain as well. I'm pretty sure I can see the captain's armband on his sleeve there. Kicks it out. Only as far as uh, Tancock. This is Fleetwood. Loses it. Uh oh. Oh no, Mongoy. Mongoy is actually a pretty good player in real life for Hereford. Uh, Calverley whips a nice ball out to Horton down left on side, first time ball in and we're 1-0 down after nearly a quarter of an hour Akin Tunde has got the goal oh that sinking feeling, the good news is we are 6 points clear of Weymouth so we're not going to give up 7th spot but obviously I want to try and climb but they're starting to we're starting to have gaps form now if you will, which is rather annoying Edgar Street, I was right, it is Edgar Street I, I didn't look earlier when I, when I uh, I loaded the game up, which is rather foolish of me, but I had a feeling it was Edgar Street. Um, I'm, it's, I've got to say as well, because there might be some Hereford fans watching this, I'm really pleased with what your club has done, because Hereford is, um, let's be honest, you're a little bit Welsh. Well, <laughs> I say that um, rather foolishly, but you're right on the border of England and Wales. I actually read an article saying that a lot of people in Hereford wanted to become part of Wales. I don't think that's the majority, but there's certainly a number of people. So it's right on the border between England and Wales. Um... In my eyes, you're adopted Welsh, okay? So you're good people, you're adopted Welsh. Um, but 
they were you know traditional traditional football league team. They had a great moment in the FA Cup against uh, Newcastle, didn't, didn't you? All those years ago, when was it, the 70s, 1970s? And um, you know, one of the, the moments of the FA Cup, basically. And you've gone from strength to strength, um, and then obviously you had issues. Fleetwood! Yes! Stuart Fleetwood, 1-1, get in there. You also let me score goals against you, which makes me really happy as well. <laughs> Stuart Fleetwood, welcome, my friend, welcome. Um... But what happened to your club was an absolute shambles, you know, to, for you to to go out of business basically. But then you, you know, your fans have been tremendous to be able to get the club back to redesign the badge. You've obviously you've dropped the United, but the, there is United on the badge, isn't there? There's United in what's it? United in something? Together, United or something like that. You've got the bottom of the badge. I can't really see it because it's quite small. But maybe afterwards I can have a a good gander of the badge. But it's very much similar to the, the old badge, but you could it's easily recognisable as Hereford. Um, obviously you've retained like the kit and everything and you've retained the stadium a lot of fundraising's gone on a lot of board members have gone involved and Hereford you know for you guys that are watching this thinking what the hell am I on about Hereford have the biggest attendance in the Southern League Premier in real life I was reading statistics the other day I think um, it was Edgar Street Holes isn't it like 4,500 maybe 5,000 something like that and you usually get about 3,000 fans um, to your stadium I know that, that with us in Merthyr you, your fans are talking about um Taking a thousand fans from Hereford to Merthyr for the away trip, um, I think you wanted fifteen hundred, didn't you? But I don't, don't know sure if Merthyr have allowed it, you to have fifteen hundred or not. But it'd be awesome if you did. You'd have more Hereford fans in the stadium than Merthyr fans. You probably will anyway, because Merthyr fans only tend to have like four hundred to five hundred max. That's kind of the average. I know we had nine hundred um, a few weeks ago for the Dorchester game, and we had nearly five hundred for the Biggleswade Town game that I went to. But um, for Hereford, you know. It's absolutely amazing that you've got that sort of support at non-league level. You pretty much are, are a team which should be in the football league system. You have the infrastructure, you have the fan base, you have the support, you have a good team. So it's just amazing to see you know, a team that's gone down that much, um, you know, so many financial problems, so many difficulties like board level and, and that sort of thing. To rise up and actually be reborn. Obviously Merthyr's town, Merthyr's a club, sorry, that it Merthyr Town is a club that has been reborn. Might have to be reborn again. <laughs> um, unfortunately, in real life, we are having some difficulties at the moment, which we'll just put under the carpet for now. <laughs> but yeah, with Merthyr, it's a whole different story completely. Okay, half time 1 1. That's pleasing. We are away from home, so I'm going to be quite good with them here. I'm just going to be passionate and say, um, I'm happy, keep it up, hand over to the assistant, and just go from there. We've had four shots there, four shots with one on target today, one on target. So we're pretty much even. So a draw would be a fair result at the moment. Also, I should mention as well, you probably noticed there's quite light behind me. I haven't got the blinds up um, on my window, and it's quite light outside. We've had the snow recently as well. I'm recording this like the day after the snow. So, um, yeah, it's like it's like it's it's almost like I'm like a godlike figure with all the light behind me, but it's not. It's just the, the sun outside. But I'm trying to keep myself as centred as I can. Otherwise, if I go like this... You can't really see my face properly, so if I keep it central, then it's not too bad, is it, guys? Okay, 62 minutes, shall we? Yeah, we'll go for a little substitution, I think. Apologies if you heard my chair squeak then as well. I didn't mean to squeak it. Um, I'm reluctant to go to attack in. Fleet was doing well. Richards isn't doing that well. I think Chamberlain could come on for Richards. But we'll play you as a DF. Give me a defensive forward. Just to kind of fill the gap a little bit. A couple of subs will go a long way in this game. Oh no, oh no. Oh, good save, Ollie Davis. How are the other teams doing? Banbury are drawing. See, so we could take advantage of that and actually climb up a bit more towards where Banbury is. But, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what we can do now. Kyle Kopp is on a yellow card as well. Their fitness is a lot worse than our fitness. If we can just penetrate a bit, we can actually get a result here, perhaps. I might... Oh, a draw is good, though. This is the thing, do I attack, do I defend? Ooh, free kick pattern. Been blocked, back to pattern again. Comes out wide, it's going to come to Scott Tancock, the former Swansea City uh, youth player, to John. Cop with the ball over the top to Chamberlain. Oh, he's offside. Why can't I hopes up with the replay? What was that replay all about? Man, okay. They've made all three subs, so let's just... Uh oh oh no, 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 Don't. no late drama, no late drama. Tancock with a clearance to Calvary. Oh my god, he got a save on that. Okay, well done. Well done, Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Tits in the trolley, balls in the biscuit tin. 
Hesham with the free, uh, free kick, the corner here, sorry, being cleared. Jared right with the header, Patton, go on, on the break. Rogers, the left back, oh, again, these stupid highlights. Don't know what they're doing, do they? We'll make our final sub in a moment. I think we'll probably take Kyle Cobb off, because he's on a yellow, I don't want him to get sent off. Um, bring Barford on. Come on. No! Oh, what are you doing to me, Barford? A little bit slow. We're going to keep you a deep lying. Be a support player in midfield. That's fine. That's totally fine by me. Odd B. Which probably changes the counter. Oh no. <gasps> hey! Thankfully he hasn't got shooting boots on. Probably too late for a counter. Up. Oh. Counter. <laughs> counter for like three minutes. Just withstand the pressure. We've got ourselves back in the game with an equaliser. Just don't see the winner here now. Unless we get the winner, then I'll be like over the moon against these. We only lost two games all season, so if we can beat them, that'd be absolutely amazing. Rogers with the header. Only as far as Carvel. This is Hodby. Hodby down the right. Tancock with the clearance. Jared right here picks up the loose ball. Nice ball into Keelan Evans. Stuart Fleetwood, the former Cardiff City player. I think he had like one or two appearances for Cardiff's first team. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be watching Cardiff and Reading tonight uh, on Sky Sports, which will be nice. That just gives you an indication of when I'm recording these videos. So this uh, the 11th of December uh, today, and that's what I'm going to be doing tonight, is watching Cardiff on Sky Sports. Oh, Lee Davis with a save. Well done. I don't know what those three players. They've had 10 shots now, six. Okay, they're doing a lot better than us now. Oh, no. There's still time left for them to get a winner here. Akintunde, Oates, Horton crosses it. Hot beef being cleared. Get loose ball, Evans. Keelan Evans, up the field, up the field. That'll do, lovely. Oh, damn, it's come back this way. Rogers heads it out for the throw-in. What is this replay? Just give me the point. I'll take the point all day long. Now, Bambury is still drawing as well. See, we can't capitalise on Bambury. It's really annoying. John clears it. As far as Fleetwood. Go on, Fleetwood. Run at them. Oh, he lost it. Damn it. Hashem. Oh, I, I thought he was going to tuck that on the corner for the striker then. Evans. What is this replay? It's just winding me up. This replay is winding me up too much. Oh no. That's alright. <laughs> oh, I'm Bambri of bloody winning. Look at that. That score just came in then. Bambri on 79 points now. But well, there we have it, guys. We, we drew. We drew. It's full time. That's fine. A draw away to these. That's, I'm going to take that um, all day long. So it's a good result. I'm going to tell them it's a good result. Bit of a. Bit of a kick in the teeth for them, but they first and they run away with the league, so they're going to go up Hereford are. But we've done well to obviously get a point away from home at Edgar Street. Where does that leave us in the table? We're seventh in the table. I can just show you. We are seventh. We've only got six games to go, I think, so I'll probably come back for the season finale now, I would have thought. We can't do it. We're off the pace. We're 20 points away from Hereford to a top. Um, we've drawn 20 games. We've, we've drawn 14 matches in total. More than any, well, more only team that's gone more is Chesham. And obviously, for a team up that high of the table, if some of those draws turn into wins, we'd be up there competing. But that's been our biggest sort of downfall. Like we've won 20 games. We've, we've done quite well, but it's been bad. We need to try and get more money in the club as well. So, all do now, guys. We'll end the episode here. I've got Basingstoke. I got a friendly with Barry. I got Kings Langley, Bishop Stortford, Kettering Frome. I'll come back for the last game of the season against Banbury, and then you'll know then where we finish and everything. Okay, guys, I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and all my sponsors on YouTube Gaming. They're currently on the screen right now. For more information, check out all the links in my description and check out the links on the screen as well.